And what we can see here is actually change the MVRV Z score. So rather than looking at it on a two year basis or a standard non rolling basis, if we actually change it to a four year basis, this might be even more accurate. And we can actually apply this method to pretty much any different metric to give us this rolling model of data. So what we can do is if I just go onto trading view here, what we can see, this isn't the everything indicator as you know it. This is changed to be on a two year rolling basis. So we can still see there's big peaks as Bitcoin is topping out and there's big spikes to the downside as Bitcoin is bottoming. But as I said, it's on a two year basis. And rather than looking at typical levels where everyone looks towards on this standard everything indicator, if I just quickly go back to it here, when it gets to this like 80 level, this really overheated level or down to the 20 really low region, if we actually look on a more dynamic basis, if we look to when Bitcoin is its top 5% or 10% of overheated days, we get a much better indication of when the market may be topping out or bottoming out on a more variable basis, something that's evolving to the changing market conditions.